Welcome to Deep South Outdoors, and this is the male alligator I've been talking about. Right here, he's guarding this area right here where it's got the female on a mound in here. And I'm going to kind of ease over there. I don't want to disturb him too much. I don't want to mess up anything. And I don't want to scare them. I don't want to do anything to interfere with them guarding this mound and, you know, possibly moving somewhere else. And if she's already laid the eggs and stuff and all, I don't want them to desert them or whatever or have them off the mound and one of these otters and stuff that's in this pond come along and get them eggs and stuff and all because they're pretty quick about digging them out and getting them. So I'm going to be real careful. I'm going to keep my distance. But I am going to ease around her just to get a little video of her actually on the mound and all. So I'm going to ease right around this little corner here and come around this back side and get a video of her actually on the mound. I'm going to have to put this camera down and all so I can get over there. That way I don't disturb them or anything. Okay guys, here she is laying on top of her mound. And all, it's kind of hard to see the actual mound and stuff. They got it pretty well hidden this year and all, but she's laying on top of it. And now, I'm not going to get any closer than what I am because I don't want to disturb anything and all, but she will guard this mound with her life pretty much. I mean, I get too much closer, she's going to probably come after me and all, and it's only to protect her babies and stuff and all. It's not really an aggression thing, you know, a hatred towards humans and stuff, but they do guard their eggs and stuff and all. We've all seen the crocodile hunter and stuff and everything and they're kind of similar to crocodiles when it comes to protecting their babies. <clears throat> but they're, he's kind of over there on this other side over here. And all, I can't get a video of him right now, so many weeds, but she's going to sit right here for quite a while and all. She will protect her babies and stuff and all. So hopefully I'll get videos of the babies and stuff and all once once they hatch. It's going to probably be, like I said before, I think it's like either 60 or 90 days and stuff and all. But she's sitting right here on top of her little mound she's made. And she will protect them babies and stuff and all. She'll protect them from like otters and raccoons and different things that'll try to get to them and all. But I'm not going to mess with them any more than what I already have and all. They're aware that I'm here and all. And she did make a little bit of a growling noise when I came around this other side, so she's keeping one eye on me pretty much. But like I said in my other video, she's pretty used to humans. I don't think I disturbed anything or nothing. But I am going to leave her alone now. And all, I know where they're at. I know where the, exactly where the mound is and stuff. And also, hopefully I can get the babies and stuff in the next few months or so whenever they finally hatch and all. So, until next time, guys. Thanks.